So let's talk then about that new leadership. Who should govern Palestine? It's, it's very hard for me to, to decide who will be their leadership. I know one thing, in Israeli jail for the last 20 years stays the only potential leader who could make a change, and this is Marwan Baraguti. I cannot guarantee anything because I didn't talk to him and didn't see him for 20 years ever since I waved him in court the last time that I saw him. I was a great believer of him. I still believe in him. I know him very well personally. Israel will never release him because he has a potential of becoming a different leader. And maybe he missed also his opportunity. You know, people changed 20 years in jail. I don't know if he can still lead the Palestinians, but he was the only one at the time who could at least unite the Palestinians because this division among Palestinians is one of the worst ha- things that happened to the Palestinians. The fact that they are not united, look at Nelson Mandela, how he kept all the blacks united. Look at Yasser Arafat, who understood that staying united is the most important thing for them in the struggle. And now they are so divided and lacking any kind of leadership. But again, Jake, it's about the Israeli leadership. The key for any change is in Israel's hand, not in the Palestinians' hand. Don't forget this. Who was this leader, potential leader, that you said you met? Marwan. As, and why is he currently in prison? What was his initial crime? He uh, he was sentenced to, I think, five uh, life sentences for his part in killing uh, Israelis in the Second Ifada. He tried very hard the political way. He tried to convince any Israeli party. He went from one headquarter to the other in Israel, tried to convince them to do something before it will explode. And he got nothing in return. And then he joined the, the armed struggle. Like Mandela did, by the way. Like Mandela. But who, who should govern Palestine? Because for many years there have been political parties like Hamas, for example, who in their charter, it has anti-Semitic comments. I mean, that, that can't be permissible, right? That can't be acceptable to have a governing body in Palestine that that states that they want to, that they don't respect or they want to wipe out uh, the Jews or the Israelis. I mean, how, how do you contend with that in the case of Hamas? Like, how can anyone, how can anyone see them as a legitimate governing authority when their, their charter contains that? First of all, Hamas was not always there. And there are many who claim that Israel has a part as a share in the creation of Hamas in order to weaken Fatah. Hamas is not my cup of tea, and Hamas was not always there. But what did we do when we had a partner? You can claim rightly so that Hamas is not a partner. But there were times in which there was a partner. Yasser Arafat, for example. What did Israel do with it? Nothing. Continue to build settlements. So, yeah, now we are in a, in a bad position. Hamas, uh, by the way, it's not only about destruction of Israel. I have many problems with a movement which is religious and fundamentalistic and, and doesn't accept uh, human, uh, women rights and doesn't accept gay rights and, and kills gays and uh, you name it. But, you know, it wasn't my choice, but there were times in which the Palestinian people was the most secular people among the Arab states. What did Israel do then with, with the Palestinians? Nothing, just oppressed them. 